freestyles. As we, as we said in the opening, it isn't automatic. In, in the past trials, it's been automatic because there have been all these different worries and concerns over people getting sick. So it was top four, you go, you're on the relay. This time it's going to be possible if you're top four, you might get nominated. Let's see Lynn Daly, Lynn Daly who will have lane number nine. She actually was on the Bermudan junior team. Now she's here at the Canadian trials. Brooklyn Duffer from Moncton will have lane number eight. She's 18 years of age. Rebecca Smith, 21 years of age. Family made a big decision when she was 16. She's now 21 to move to Toronto to pursue her Olympic dream. And she has been nominated already in another event for the Olympics. Captain Savard is looking to be nominated, has already been nominated for her third Olympics. She's 28 years of age, training in Montreal. Kyla Sanchez, big breakthrough for her in the sense that she missed being nominated in one of her favorite events and then came back like a house on fire in the 50 meter sprint yesterday and made the time. So she's been nominated and very important member of the relay, along with, of course, this woman, who is the powerful force that Canada's looking for in Tokyo to help spur those relays to challenge for medals. Penny will have lane number four, Taylor Ruck, 21 years of age, just a few weeks older than Penny, actually, was on those relays that won medals in Rio five years ago. Maggie McNeil was not on the Olympic team five years ago. Her first international major senior team wasn't until 2019 when she won the World Championships in the Butterfly, but she was on the end of the relay and won a medal as well. Sarah Fournier, 24 years of age from the Quebec City area, will have lane number one. Rounding out the field with a very interesting program, Allie Ackman, 28 years of age, retired after 2016, came back because she loved it, but she's trying to go the 100 all the way up to the 800, 100, 200, 400, 800. Very rarely do you see swimmers try to combine those different types of training regimes to succeed in such widely divergent races. But she made the Olympic trials final here, so she won lane zero. Family watching on, getting ready for this two-lap race. Penny Alexiak, 54 flat in heats, was the fastest, was also by her the ninth fastest all-time by a Canadian. She owns four of the top ten, and Taylor Ruck owns five of the top ten, and Kyla Sanchez owns one of them, and she said it this morning. In tenth of the top, so you have the only people who have, the top uh, three who've ever flown in this event and swum in this event are in this race. Take your marks. And Alexiak is in four. Kyla Sanchez is in five. Taylor Rock is in three. So on Penny Alexiak's right. And we do need to mention that they're looking for spots on the relay. They're also looking for spots to swim this event in Tokyo. But one spot in theory is taken by Taylor Rock because of her free selection in this event. As they approach the wall, will it be? She was actually just slightly behind, I would say, Kyla Sanchez, but she got around quicker, which is saying something because she is six feet tall. Kyla Sanchez still hanging in there with Penny Alexiak. They are close here as we get to the final 10 meters. Alexiak trying to reach out with that long frame. It looks like she's going to get there. Alexiak and then Sanchez. And was it McNeil? Who got third? It was Maggie McNeil Alexiak in 52.89. That is not far off of her Canadian record for Penny Alexiak. That's her best time in a long time. It's been a rocky road for Penny. It was a wonderful, wonderful 2016, a little overwhelming. I remember she said, I'm walking down the street and people are pointing and looking at me. I'm going, who are they looking at? Oh yeah, I guess, they, I guess they're looking at me. And uh, she had a little bit of a down in sort of mid-quadrennial. Was even has talked to Michael Phelps about that. I think he's got her on speed dial. And now this pandemic has actually helped Penny. Because of that little blip in 2018, she's now had another year to train. This 52-8 puts Penny back into the hunt. Good, solid swim. You've got Sanchez going right with her at the very top of the screen. It's Kyla Sanchez. I mean, that helped. Penny's a racer. Penny is a born racer. She's tough, tough, tough in a race. And having Kyla right there till the very end made push Penny to the edge. And I think that was perfect. Mom and Dad are certainly happy with that. And it was 
Maggie McNeil in third behind Sanchez, and then of course Alexia with that brilliant 52-89. She went 54 flat in the heats and takes a second and 11 hundredths off of it. And she's back in a sense, isn't she, Byron? Absolutely tremendous swim. And she's standing by with Devin. Holy Thank you, Rob. Penny, a huge smile after that race. Oh, you gotta like it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, I don't even have words right now. I did not expect to go 52. I haven't done that in so long. And to just do that right now, tonight, like, I don't even have words. I'm so excited. I kept swearing over there, so I'm sorry. <laughs> One of your fastest times in a long time, Penny. Yeah. How did you do it? I have no idea. I like, I have the best girls in the world to train with. Like, I honestly think I couldn't train with anyone better and they push me every single day. My coaches push me every day. They motivate me. And I'm just so happy. Like, that's not the end of it, I hope. <laughs> Let's go to your parents right now. Huge, Hello. huge supporters. And of course, how, we can, how can we forget those iconic shots, of course, in Rio, Penny, when they were in the crowd going crazy. Yes. You, you two watch this race. You see how happy your daughter is right now. What does that mean to the both of you? We're just, we're just so proud of her. We're like crying. I'm crying. Oh. I've been all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we know how hard you work to win. Too, like every time. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's Bimo's getting in as well. <laughs> well, it is pet night at the pool. Well done, Pen. Thank you. Penny, watching you around here this week, there's a joy to you from my perspective. You're having fun. Yeah. Is this how you want this experience to be for you? That's how I want it to be, and that's, I think, how I've always wanted it to be and for a long time it wasn't so I'm just happy to be back in that mentality and just to go that time right now is like super big for me and tell me about that because we've heard about all the challenges everybody having to navigate the pandemic but you've been so open about how the pandemic helped you it helped you get right in the mind get right physically and do things that you weren't doing yeah I mean it's not shown up there but like my boyfriend's up there with his family and one of my best friends is up there and I got to spend a lot of time honestly with like my boyfriend. He stayed with me over the pandemic and it was just super nice to be around people I love and really find my passion for the sport again. We can see how much this moment means to you. Uh, how important was it for you? Did, did you need to prove something to yourself or how important was it to put a time down like this heading to Tokyo? Honestly, I think I was back in the Rio mentality where I didn't really have an expectation, obviously. I wanted to win that race and having those girls to push me to get there was really important for me. But I'm, I had no intention of going that time. I'm happy I did, though. And some reflections. Five years ago, Canadians were just getting to know who Penny Alexiak was. You talked about those weighty expectations. Now you're going back to another Olympics. What are you going to carry into that? What perspective are you carrying into Tokyo? I have no idea yet. I don't know what to expect there. Everyone said Rio was really different from uh, London, so it's nice to kind of go through there where I didn't have any expectations, and now I also don't have expectations. It's going to be different, so I'm just excited to go. It's so good to see you happy and swimming well, Penny. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>